a lot of the time we know what to do, but we just don't do it. It's common sense, but unfortunately it's not common practice. So here are three ways to really help you with your overall uh, energy management, focus, mental and emotional well-being, especially in those times when you're feeling, say, um, a little bit stressed, overstretched, overwhelmed, fatigued, or disengaged in the moment. Number one is gratitude. We all know this, but sometimes we forget. To focus on all the little things, uh, the people, um, the situations that are happening in our life. So what's going right rather than what's going wrong. So to think about gratitude, to write a list of, you know, write your gratitude list, but also the next stage of gratitude is to feel it. So you think about it, you can write it down, but just allow yourself, give yourself some time to actually feel the gratitude, gratitude in your bodies because it's impossible to experience stress or worry, concern, anxiety at the same time as experiencing gratitude. It's a different chemistry in our brain and in our, in our body. Number two is to turn your expectations into appreciations. This, this one focus, this one practice can be a whole like life game-changing experience. So you could say to yourself in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna turn all of my expectations, including myself, so the expect, expectation of yourself, that pressure that you know sometimes you can put on yourself or expectations on others to simply appreciation, a different focus, a different life experience. Number three is to build in excitement for the future. A lot of stress, worry, concern, anxieties is simply an anticipation of the future is gonna turn out a certain way, but switching your attention to what, what can I get excited for? How can I build some fun in over the next week or the next month? So your focus change and so does your experience, your, your feeling at, in that moment. So number one, gratitude. Write it down, think about it, write it down, and then allow yourself to feed it. Number two, have some fun turning your expectations into appreciations. And finally, number three, starting to really build in fun, excitement, anticipate, something really great happening in the future.